All right, time to check in with the <laughs> Iowa Nice Guys for their Halloween edition. Steel Jantz's five touchdowns led Iowa State to victory, proving once again that the only thing easier than scoring on the Baylor defense is beating the Tigers in the World Series. The Iowa Hawkeyes lost to the smartest virgins in the conference. To celebrate their win, the Wildcats hit the town for a grueling game of Dungeons and Dragons. They were so into the game, they broke their curfew and weren't tucked into bed until 9.32 p.m. Lucky for Nebraska, Michigan's MVP, Denard Robinson, was knocked out of the game, paving the road for an easy bug eater victory and creating headlines all over Nebraska as the first paved road in the state's history. Kansas State stomped Texas Tech, moving K-State to number two in the BCS. When asked to comment on the computer rankings, Bill Snyder asked, what are we in the abacus rankings? Notre Dame won again. What is going on? Hello. What's up, Pope Benedict? Hmm, that makes sense. Sources report, hell has frozen over. Speaking of which, today is Halloween, and they tell me College Football Daily is having a special show to honor the grand tradition of dressing up and scaring children. I thought I'd join the festivities. Hi, I'm Dari Noka, host of College Football Daily and lover of tweeting, bandwagon jumping, and touchscreens. I'm from the upended toilet, but I wish I were from Iowa, which is why I married a wonderful woman from that great state. She says the sexiest man in the world is the Iowa nice guy, and I must agree. Thank you, Dari. You didn't have to say that. Until next time on College Football Daily, I'm out.